Hello, I hope you are all good today. Uh, so we want to talk today about how to create your own video streaming service with Azure. So for that we are going to use what it's called media services. Okay, so the first thing we are going to use, we are going to do is go to the search and we find media services. So we click on it and after we click on it you see that we have this add or this create button they're pretty much the same we're going to create the media service we wait for some seconds for the um, wizard to show up okay so we are now going to name our media service so i'll name it pti demo media I'll create a new resource for that, new resource group, I'm sorry. Okay, and I'm going to choose the region, the region. in this case, yes, so central US is okay, and I'm going to create a storage account just for this. Okay. I am going to create a new one just for this. Okay, I usually use the B2 since it's kind of the newer. I don't remember the differences, but I believe we had more stuff to do. I need to check them. Uh, STG, dim, STG, yeah, demo. Okay, uh, yeah, click OK. So I'll create the storage account. I have everything ready. And then I'll go and create. So we wait a couple of minutes for the deployment of the resources to be ready. We see that the deployment already started. I can click the notification to go and see the progress of each um, of the items. And we see that it's still on the way. We see that here is the um, storage account. It's already finished deploying the storage and it already finished deploying the actual media service. Okay, so first thing I want to do is go to assets because in the assets we, we are going to have pretty much all the videos we are going to uh, upload. So Check upload, um, and I am gonna I'm going to find one of the videos I have here. So <clears throat> I'll go to my SD card. Um, no, sorry, not this one. Uh, okay. have an mp4 here okay now I'll wait for the upload of the asset or the video to finish it will take a couple of minutes and after that um, we are all we will be almost ready to go for other people to see the videos we had um, we have loaded Okay, let's give it a couple more, uh, a, little, a little more time. Okay. So, yeah, just a little bit more. Uh, video is not that long, I believe it, not that big. I believe it was like 70 megabytes or something. I didn't check. I have to check. Okay, it should be almost ready. Okay, we see that it's already uploaded. Yeah, it was 40 megabytes. 
Okay, it created actually an URL and everything. Okay, so if we go back to assets, we will see that our video is here and it has a storage link, which is the um, actual item in our storage account. And we see that they have an ID, it has some properties, it's, a, uh, it's an MP4, uh, 42.17 megabytes, there are items there. It says that the meme type is video MP4. If I click in here, then you see that I can see more of the properties there. Uh, it says that I need to publish the asset with a progressive locator in order to get a download URL for the asset file and the progressive locator should not be expired. Okay, so we see that they have a couple of options here. We have a blob, a blob, a blob captions. Okay, we have the encoding, we have analyze, and we also have the uh, publish. We see that we have the unpublish and play um, disabled at the moment so what I am going to do is publish my item you will see that it says that by adding a locator to the asset you you publish the asset right so I'm going to click add it says it says that it already added the locator and you see that the unpublish and the play are already um, accessible so if I go and click play I'll have this playback URL and here is the source for the uh, for the player so I'll go and copy this link I'll paste it in Chrome in other browser just to be sure that it's not getting um, the links from my that it doesn't require authentication or anything at the moment unless we can we can set it as far as I remember and we see that this is actually the the um, video it's um, downloading at the moment so you see this is what has been downloaded and let me just start it now let's play it you see that it runs the video while it's still downloading uh, the rest of it okay and yeah that's the easy way to create your uh, to quickly create your own um, video streaming service by taking advantage of Azure media services um, so the next steps from here will be uh, like creating a website uh, where you have your your links and you have like a search or things like that so people can actually find your items um, way more easy than by just having the link or sending them to them but yeah that's this is kind of the first steps to create your um, own media services in Azure I hope you have liked you have liked it and that it is useful please share the video uh, thank you for seeing for watching have a good day